<laughs> YouTubers. Uh, let's see. Um, seeking knowledge. This is an after action. Uh, help me understand what I'm looking at here. Report for my second melt session. I remelted my gold bearing feedstock and added to it um, into the single bar. Um, I tried skimming some of the crud off with a small spoon and it wasn't sticking. Um, had an idea that maybe, and ask for verification on this, leave your comments uh, below. I should, once I've got a molten, solu uh, not really solution, but once I've got a molten uh, alloy in the crucible, I should hit it with a couple of spoonfuls of borlax, let it clump with all the, let it crump with uh, the impurities and the crud, and then use like a graphite or stainless steel rod, and hopefully it would stick to that, and I could pull it out that way. Anywho, uh, let me know about that. Also wondering on all these holes. I had preheated the uh, cast iron mold um, uh, on top of the forge for, I don't know, eight, ten minutes, um, and I took it off. Uh, turned off the for uh, the furnace, uh, removed the crucible, poured the poured the crucible. Now I probably left it in the mold a little too long. I don't know, it might have been five eight minutes. I left it in the mold before I dumped it out. It's having some difficulties. You can see there's an indent right here. Um, I've got a protrusion in my mold that's actually sticking from the cast iron out into um, into the ingot. So I'm gonna need to get the Dremel and uh, file that down. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of different holes. Let's see, so I don't know. Are these gases being trapped? Are they impurities being injected when I quench? Uh, are they something else? So I had to do it over again. I, I need advice on how to how to deal with the crud. Um, I didn't do any borax in this one because it ate up my crucibles so bad in the first one. Uh, I didn't do any borax. But uh, small crucibles though. I was looking into getting a, a slag spoon. Or uh, just using a kitchen spoon, but even with a nine-inch handle, and using needle-nose pliers to hold it, just couldn't get this stuff to come out. So, how do I clean before I pour? And what are all the holes? How do I prevent, or what do I do for them not to occur? Some of them go all the way through. Let's see, get some what? No, not in the sun, that's not gonna work. All right, but some of them do go all the way through. There, there, this one goes all the way through. Um, some of the others do, I'm just not catching the, the angle right. So yeah, um, in the comments below, please let me know. Um, seek a knowledge and eager for your input. Got another one here. This was made with um, dirty copper. Dirty copper and dirty brass, which I guess is dirty copper. Um, again, no borax. Uh, challenges cleaning before, uh, before the pour. Again, preheated the mold. Less holes in this one. But still some pretty some pretty big ones. So anywho, um Crucible held up a lot better in this pour and you see the indent here again. Same mold. Need to need to file that out. So yeah, if you could let me know recommended methods for cleaning the slag or the crud off. Uh without shortening the life of the crucible with a really small crucible that you can't get a four inch or five inch slag spoon into. Um, let me know and 
Why am I, why or how am I getting these holes? Anywho, thank you and have a happy day. Follow up additional question. Uh, since I use the same mold, is that gold, dirty gold from the mold from the first pour fused onto the bottom of the dirty copper ingot? If it is, how would you go about getting it off? Would you go about getting it off? Um, some over here too. Um, Cause I'd want to just get that off with as little copper as possible, but um, I don't know. Why don't you let me know? All input is appreciated. Thank you kindly.